Hey, what's up, guys? Today we are talking about shooting, one of my favorite topics, hopefully one of your favorite topics as well. If currently you're the type of player who is afraid to take shots because you don't want to miss the net, you do not want your coaches or teammates to yell at you or even worse, laugh at you, make fun of you, you need to get over that right away. I would rather you take all the opportunities you have to shoot, take those shots and miss the net it's much better for your development than being too afraid to take a shot and passing that opportunity by by hesitating or passing the ball to a teammate when you should take that shot. So please be brave enough to miss. Missing is a good thing if you analyze your misses and you learn from your missed opportunities. Now saying that, I wanna help you hit the net more often. I wanna help you have harder shots, more accurate shots, and more consistent shots so you can score more goals. So in this video, I just put the tripod up. We did about 10, 15 minutes of shooting at the end of our session with my friend Luke. And recently I released a video the other day and it was about free kicks and I talked about the importance of free kicks. I want you to practice free kicks. However, it's not the most match realistic. Just think about your last game. How many free kicks did you take in that game? Maybe one, maybe two, maybe zero. But how many shooting opportunities did you have? How many shooting, different shooting opportunities did you have? Some on your left, some on your right, some close to the net, some further away from the net. You're always going to get different shooting opportunities. And this style of practicing, playing little combinations with a teammate, is a great way to replicate those match situations. So I would much rather you ha spend more time doing things like this, playing little combinations and shooting the ball in different ways, left and right foot, some close to the net, some far. If you don't have a teammate, you can always just practice shooting off the dribble, shooting off a turn, shooting off controlling the ball out of the air. So just think about switching up the variety of the shots that you're taking because realistically in the game, you're never gonna have the same shot twice. So saying that today, I wanna talk about technique and I've outlined a few shots that I want to talk about. This is the first one here and what I wanted to highlight or illustrate here is I'm a little off balance. Whenever you are off balance, as you can see my body go away there, when you are off balance it's so important that you take your power off the shots and just rely on good technique making good contact. Here I knew the ball was getting away from me a bit and I wasn't able to get my body to get my body fully over it so instead of striking that ball as hard as I could I just focus on making good contact a nice smooth shot you will find that your best shots are usually your smoothest just focus on good technique not so much power the next thing I want to talk about is little finishes like this Okay, it's not the most glamorous. I'm not blasting the ball into the top corner. However, this goal is just as valuable as one that I smashed as hard as I can into the top corner. So it's very important that you are practicing your finesse finishes, your composed finishes. Here is just a shot on my left foot and I just wanna show you guys, I wasn't swinging very hard, but it was just good technique. Same thing here, I didn't power it, but just great technique, okay? Your best shots are not gonna be the ones that you smack the hardest and kill. They're the ones you're gonna focus on your technique, really make good contact, and do all the things that you need to do. Body over the ball, flexed foot, nice flowing backswing, nice follow through towards your target, keeping your body nice and still. Just like that, look at that shot. Boom, I really like that shot today. And again, that wasn't my hardest shot, but it was one of my best shots. I just focus on good technique. Here's another hit with my right foot. Those ones are always nice curling away from your body or curling away from goal. And the reason this happens is because I hit more on the inside of the ball, the near side of the ball, rather than the far side of the ball. And that's something I try to do personally because I hate when I hit it with my right foot and it peels to the left or I hit it with my left foot and it peels to the right across your body. It's something that I hate to do. So I always hit a little bit more on the near side of the ball rather than the far side of the ball, furthest away from me. And what that does is it allows the ball to go straight just because of the natural tendency of my shot or curl off to the side just like you saw there. And this is the purest shot I hit of the day. And I just wanna highlight that again. Again, I hit a bit on the near side of the ball but really flex foot, landing on that shooting foot first, 
It's a great way to get some more power. Most importantly, if you're gonna try to hit it hard, get your body over the ball, head down, body over the ball, going towards the net, follow through towards the net, landing on that shooting foot. So if you guys found this video helpful, please like, please comment, please share, please subscribe, and come back tomorrow for a new training video.